Good everybody, I'm Brett, uh, 25, I'm a UX designer that lives in Toronto and I love clothes. I would totally agree with that statement um, and how I like to decipher certain things catching my eyes or how I filter whether or not I purchase, purchase a certain item would definitely be just wearability and uh, you know, how I see it being integrated into my closet and how much wear I'm going to get out of it. Um, honestly, like with the whole like bougie trends, age sneakers, plissé pants, I'm not even gonna lie. I would say that it's a little bit overused. It's a little bit. I would definitely say it's waning, but I'm definitely into it. Um, it's a three-year trend for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say I'm still really into it. I don't like currently own any plissé pants or anything like that myself. Uh, I'm not overly into like the whole like archive sneaker game myself, as in I don't own anything. But it's definitely not something I'm opposed to. Um, it's a clean look. And I can appreciate the history, right? And I think half of the, half of you know, half of the intrigue or the um, the attractiveness of sneakers in general is just like history, and you've got to appreciate where you know, modern sneakers come from. So looking at your eighty fives and your ninety fours to an extent, I mean that's really like the framework for what we're wearing today. So it definitely has to be appreciated. Um, the only thing I don't appreciate is the price points right now. <laughs> I'm not spending three thousand dollars for a sneaker. Again, I'm going to go back to the previous question and just say, honestly, I strictly base it on wearability and how often I foresee something being worn. Um, one of my biggest pet peeves is just buying an item that, you know, I really enjoy, but I don't get a lot of wear out of, whether that be something, you know, a super crazy color or a really out of the box piece that I really thought I'd be able to integrate into my rotation well, but just kind of sits on my closet. That I'll always try to phase out, sell and buy something that I know I'm going to wear more often. I don't really like calling it a trend. I'm really opposed to calling this a trend. Um, but just like recycled fashion and thrifting, I think is so important right now. And especially for things like, you know, denim and heavy sweatshirts, just how harmful it is to the environment um, in terms of like the manufacturing process of certain garments and whatnot. And if we can, do our best to buy items secondhand and kind of reduce our own carbon footprint without, as there's a helicopter, yeah. without sacrificing, you know, our own needs and wants. I think that's like so important. And to just know, to just have the knowledge to know whether or not you're really doing something good or you're being greenwashed. You know what I true, mean? Because I true. feel like that's the reason why it's a trend right now is because I feel like a lot of the big box retailers have kind of you know, seeing how attractive that is to people of our age demographic and starting to kind of push recycled fashion as almost a trend, which I don't believe it is. I have a horrible time choosing that. I love purchasing sneakers. I'm very bad, I don't have a filter. Um, I've recently got a little bit better in terms of discipline, but how do I pick and choose? Honestly, yeah. again, exactly like my clothes, Try to go for things that you know that apply more neutral tones um i'm a big I'm big into my white color blocking and whatnot stuff that's going to be very neutral very versatile so versatility is my big thing with sneakers um you know being able to match it with a majority of my closet at a given time in terms of shape and color i always say this to everybody my number one tip is to not have a statement piece in every single outfit and try to balance out an outfit from head to toe so, you know, not necessarily going for super plain, super plain tees, super plain bottoms, and then like a banger pair of sneakers necessarily or vice versa. I really like to just even out my outfits and have balance from head to toe. Um, so essentially don't invest all your money or all your funds into, you know, just one portion of the outfit. So like, um, really think about every piece. Exactly. Right. And like, you know, 
just having a well-balanced closet. So not just having, you know, 20 pairs of pants with two t-shirts, kind of in, invest in everything equally and don't worry about always having like the most expensive pair of shoes or the most expensive sweater or jacket, you know, like balance is really important to me for true, sure. True. That is so hard. I'm going to promote products that are made semi-locally, oh. made ethically, and I'm going to go with a new balance that's either made in England or the USA. Damn. And if we're getting really specific, my favorite model is the 860, which is traditionally a running shoe. Mm -hmm. As a lifestyle sneaker, which I find they're really hard to find, that is definitely my favorite new balance. But in terms of accessibility, you cannot go wrong with the 990. Stuff like that. Collegium I really like. Um, honestly, like I said, I'm a big fan of like smaller brands and supporting up and coming brands. So like your RANYCs, your Collegiums, um, you know, just like supporting homies that you interact with in real life over Instagram and whatnot. And I think that's kind of having that closer to home aspect or that added intimacy of supporting a brand where you're kind of invested in. I, I think there's something special in that as well. True. I guess that's it for, for this one. Um, thank you, dude. Awesome, man. Peace out, guys. Dude, thank you. Mask me, boys. What's good, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. It's Miko. Um, you just saw episode two of Still with my boy Brett. I really enjoyed watching slash editing this video. His perspective in um, the talking points that, that we discussed it really ref it really shows on his instagram slash his outfits um as you can tell his fit um during this time he, he was just wearing uh, a vintage scotty pippen uh car, car dealership t-shirt some nice pants uh, the, the green terminators the creamy aged green terminators i really enjoy this this interview and i hope you guys learn something or just appreciate the perspective of, the, of this guy that really curates and and lives this lifestyle even that curveball that he threw us um, his low-key pick is um, for people to get more into new balances it's it shows the value that he puts like he he's not like he did it he could have said oh pick this Jordan 1 or this this uh, Air Force 1 ID or whatever he said new balance because he he thought about the background of the brand you know he uh, he said made in usa or made in uk it supports local workers it supports it supports the the local economy the industry um and i think that's a beautiful thing uh it could it might sound cheesy but new balances it's good for you it's good for your knees good for your back um it's just comfortable and if you're trying to get a fit off New Balance, you can't go wrong with New Balances. So yeah, um, even that, just a curveball of saying New Balances, man, I mean, yeah, I really enjoyed this interview. I hope you guys did too. I'm doing way, way more of this series. Um, obviously it's an ongoing series. Um, I have a couple in the chamber that I need to edit. And um, yeah, just a couple people that uh, I'm gonna shoot with still, or still, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Um, do follow me on Instagram. I just went to Montreal. I'm cooking up um, a Montreal food porn slash, you know, fashion type thing. It's more food centric. So if you enjoy food, I'm a big, um, like I eat, I'm a human being. So I eat every day and I like to eat the best every single time. So even if I'm uh, making it at home, I make it perfectly, um, to what my mouth wants. Follow me on Instagram. I shot some people on the street. So if you want to see like what people wear in real life versus on Instagram, um, which personally I enjoy more because Instagram you can put on a fit and, and you know you can just go back to your room, undress and, and change. But what you wear out on the streets, that's what that's what matters. That's what intrigues me because um, that's what you live your life in. Instagram is just Instagram. Um, so I hope uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you guys what people actually wear. And um, yeah, um, and that's what I enjoy. I hope you guys do too. So thank you for watching. Like this video if you did. Um, subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. 
Thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the shit.